Thank you, Pastor Clifford, and thank you for having me. Um, I'm really excited to present the seed on us to you guys today. Um, yeah, so um, he's already introduced me, and I'm down here in Plymouth, UK. I don't know if you guys have been down here, but Pastor Clifford was actually my pastor for six whole years, and I can say that he is wonderful wow. for the job that he's in now. So. <laughs> I'm six very, years. very honoured to know you. <laughs> you. You wonder how you survived for six years. <laughs> well, I was trying to be positive, so. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, so I'm thrilled to be here with you to present to you the Seed Award um, for, the pa for the Adventurers, even. So I had to get my head out of Pathfinders and into Adventurers. But yes, I am very happy to be here with you today. So... Here's the list of requirements, but hopefully you guys have got your workbooks so you can work through it. Um, we're just going to go through a few parables in the Bible and then we're going to start talking about seeds. What they need to grow, what we see when they grow, um, how they're spread, what's the biggest seed you've ever seen and the smallest seed. I'm going to ask you to run through your house and find some edible seeds. You'll need your parents' help for that though, so we'll come to that later. And we're also going to look at some of the common seeds you might find um, around the house or just outside. And there's going to be a craft bit at the end where you can send your pictures into Pastor Diane. So without further ado, we will carry on into the honour. So you guys might be familiar with the parable of the sower. And it's found in Matthew 13 verses 3 to 9. So it goes like this. Then he told them many things in parables, saying, A farmer went out to sow his seeds. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places, where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly, because the soil was shallow, but when the sun came up and plants were scorched, they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plants. Still other seed fell on good soil, where it produced a crop, a hundred, sixty or thirty times what was sown. Whoever has ears, let them hear. So we can actually learn a bit from this parable today. And as you grow up, you'll probably hear preachers talk about it a lot. The one thing that I want you guys to remember, that no matter where you are, if you talk about God's love, and what he's done in your life and spread about him not everyone will hear so you are so that's you giving out your seed so if you're telling people some may hear fall to people that don't want to hear so that's that's where the birds come in and the sun comes and withers up for the things with no roots but some of it will land on good soil. So that's the people that want to hear. So don't be, don't be upset if not everyone you talk to about Jesus wants to come to church or things like that. But rest assured that God knows the hearts of some of your friends and that will work and some of them will know Christ through you. There you go. You can be absolutely amazing and spread God's word and have more friends in church, which is what we all want really, isn't it? So that's a little bit about the parable of the sower. Now, the, um, the second half of that requirement involves you looking at some Bible verses. So the ones that they suggested in the award is Genesis 1 verses 11, Mark 4 verses 31, and Matthew chapter 17 verse 20. Now I've given you one, so I'll show you this one. It's Genesis 1 verse 11. So if you want to ask your parents later on, or you can do it yourselves, if you want to read through either the, either the second or third one, so Matthew or Mark, then you'll be able to um, fully finish this um, requirement number one. But Genesis 1, 11 says, And God said, Let the earth sprout vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees bearing fruit in which is their seed each according to its kind on the earth, and it was so. So this verse actually told us, tells us a little bit about what seeds are as well. So seeds are the reproductive bits of a flowering plant capable of developing into another plant. Now it'll be the same one that's been sown, okay? <laughs> so you won't get some mystery plant off a, perhaps a flower seed won't suddenly become um, a tree seed. So things like that. So it will, it will do likewise. 
um yeah that's that's one of the verses and you guys have got to look at one of the other ones now does every anybody know what a seed needs in order to grow there's a there's a hint oh there's a few hints in this picture but if you want to write in the chat what do you think a seed needs to grow okay guys you've heard it there yeah what do you need uh, do you think a seed needs to grow there are some hints um somebody said yes uh sunlight and water um somebody said sunlight who said water sun and soil water warmth and water sunlight water air and soil okay sun all right sunlight and water okay i think on the facebook chat it's um must be similar coming through there yes so it's correct is that jenny there's water there yeah. sunlight like we don't need to go through it i think you might know it all. <laughs> yeah. definitely so as you can see in the picture and the ones that we're going to see now a plant needs warmth and sunshine so initially it might need even a cold time for the seed to get going but once it's broken through its outer shell it needs warmth and sunshine so it needs to have a warm warm blanket so the soil warms up from the sun and that's what gives it the energy to come up through the soil mm -hmm. we also need water now mm -hmm. those in the uk know that we've had quite a bit of water so too much water can be too it can be bad for plants as well because it will rot the seed but just the amount of uh, right amount of water will help it to to germinate and to grow okay because <laughs> we've had we've had quite a bit of water and you might have noticed that during the sunny time that we had here the grass didn't grow very much but at the moment because we have sunshine and then showers the grass is growing quite a lot so um, you'll see it <laughs> growing up everywhere because we have a good mix of sunshine and rain and of course it needs oxygen so if you kept your seeds in a little packet that was sealed all the way around it wouldn't grow but as soon as you put it in the soil with the warmth and then the air around it as well then that's what helps it grow and of course Good. soil so some plants will grow without soil but once even once they've got going a little bit then they'll need the soil at some stage they need soil um, and a lot starts in soil. So this is where the nutrients comes from. So we've got, so that was the four things that are, that are little symbols on your worksheets. And here we go. So um, what happens when a seed sprouts? Let's have a little look. Now you guys might have learnt about this in school already. I don't know, but it's a process called germination. Yes. There you go. Has anyone ever grown um, a bean like like this on the picture? A bean against this in um, in a jar against the side of the jar, and then you can see it growing. So you see the root form first, and then the then the foliage bit comes out the top. So it needs. Oh, there's to a lot of yeses. There's yeah. a lot of yeses, Jenny, of those who have I done that. I bet lots That's of people good. do that. Yeah. Somebody I actually said they have a garden in their backyard and two allotments. So wow. say they into seed and yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah, you guys know all about this already, don't you? <laughs> so we've got the different stages. So you've got a basic diagram on your sheets. Um, you might want to annotate some of the different um different terms that we've got written on the screen here so when it's when it's just about to come out it's called the embryo stage and then you can see it has a little coat and sometimes if you see a little seed coming out of the ground and it's still got that little coat on it it's struggling because the little coat was too thick so quite often little tree seedlings i see that with and if you pick it off then it goes oh. <laughs> you might have seen that I'm a gardener, so I see a lot of these um, things happening outside. And my dad thinks I'm silly for taking note of it all, but I like to see it all. <laughs> of course, it's a Sorry? 
Somebody is actually saying they're currently germinating an avocado seed. Oh, I think that's exciting to see, isn't it? That is. So, did they? Did you start it off in a dark place in a damp bag? Mm -hmm. Maybe that okay. person can respond. But yep. But that's what it, is that how it is that how you started in the dark place? Why, why does a seed need the darkness then to <laughs> to? Uh, it does differ. So most seeds, they need the light and they need the warmth. But my sister actually has two or three avocado seeds and she mm. put them in a plastic bag with a damp um, bit of cloth around it so it kept moist, put it in a cupboard in the dark and forgot about it and then found later oh, that wow. it had a shoot. So some do need the dark and so some need a cold time. So sometimes um, seeds won't germinate outside unless you've had a hard frost, unless, you, unless the ground has actually gone cold, then they won't germinate. And some, some need extreme heat. Mm. So some will germinate after a fire. So up on the moors, we've got a place called Dartmoor near us and it's got lots of bracken, this kind of spiky plant. And every now and then they do a controlled fire. So they burn all the top stuff off. So it regerminates and all the seedlings and stuff underneath then come up. And then you find you get a lot of ferns and stuff as well as the gorse coming back. So some things need heat. And you'll see, it especially in the Australian fires recently, you'll see amazing results after fires come through the land and they'll have stuff coming up that hasn't been seen there for a while because the seed hasn't been warm enough. So <laughs> that's a lot of information about seed germination. Um, but generally, a nice sunny windowsill for a seed will do. <laughs> well, the lady who, the girl who did the, 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 the avocado, she said she did it, started in a mason jar, then transferred it to a vase when the roots got too long. And it's doing well now. She'll be planting it tomorrow, she said. Okay. So I've actually had the avocado, maybe put a few picks in it and then made sure just the base of the seed was touching the water, which encouraged it to grow. Yes, yeah, so, so even with the same thing, there's several different ways of getting stuff, getting stuff to, um, to germinate. It's the proper way. <laughs> but that's excellent. Okay. Now, I bet you guys know some ways that seeds are naturally spread. You got any ideas on the chat? Okay, guys, do you know, in, anybody knows how seeds are naturally spread? Okay, I'm say wind, wind by water, birds, animals. Um, yes, it's wind, water, birds and animals, people. Uh, people spread seeds as well. Okay. Um, you guys yeah. have got all of them. <laughs> yes. That's brilliant. Well done. Uh, we've, got, we've got some clever adventurers here. Do. Now. And it sounds like yeah. they like being outside and seeing nature right. and seeing God's handiwork. So that is absolutely brilliant. This on the screen is actually one of my favorite flowers. It's called Nigella. And that little pod mm -hmm. bursts open and loads of little seeds go everywhere so they're fantastic at self-seeding and that you don't have to sow them you can just let the plant seed and it will create little babies of itself which is absolutely mm. brilliant so someone said wind and perhaps yeah, the most yeah. famous one is the dandelion pick it up blow it and off you go that's how it's passed on by wind and some of the pods, like I said about the nigella, burst. So this is mid-burst. It's like captured just as it goes poof. So that's part of the wind one as well. And then I love this picture on animals. I don't know if you guys have got any pets, but my little dog, he's quite often got some grass seeds stuck around his ears or on his tail or everywhere. And this poor fella on the screen has put his head somewhere he shouldn't have. <laughs> He's got some very spiky seeds on him. So a lot of seeds have got almost spikes around them so they can attach to animals' fur. 
So you quite often see like rabbits or squirrels outside and they'll have a few seeds on them probably. Yeah. So not only do we have them on animals, but in animals. So you might have noticed also, the most obvious one is if a bird has been eating berries and you see it's poop and it's completely purple or something and it's because it's been eating blackberries. Um, but that helps <laughs> seeds get far distances. So you might wonder, how on earth did that get in my garden? It might be that a bird pooped the seed there. <laughs> it was actually interesting. Somebody did mention, a couple of people actually mentioned animal poo um, spread seeds. Um, I didn't, I've never heard about it, but now you've confirmed it for us. Yes. Good. Oh, yeah. So lots of animals, even other than birds, will spread seeds as well. So little mice, they'll go and eat some grains and uh, just <laughs> pop them somewhere else for you. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we've also got water. So you see this, this coconut has decided to sprout whilst it's in the water. So that will get washed up on a beach somewhere and that will grow into a new coconut tree. So a new palm tree, which is fantastic and humans so oh apologies i've got an apple core there so you might be driving along or walking along and you finish your apple and you throw it out i quite often i like to do that just to feed the hedgehogs so they'll they'll eat the eat the um the core and stuff but then the seed is left so you might find in a few years time there'll be an apple tree there so either yeah, intentionally or yeah. unintentionally humans plant seeds <laughs> Somebody even asked one time, is it, is it okay? Is it okay to eat apple seeds? Some, you know, is it okay to eat apple seeds? Somebody said to me once, you know, eat the apple seeds, it's gonna, an apple tree is gonna grow in your tummy. <laughs> <laughs> I do hear that some people do eat apple seeds, but I wouldn't advise it because they've got a small amount of uh, chemical in them that's not good for us. Um, okay. I also, when I, when I give my rabbits apple seeds, I have to take the pips out just in case they, they eat them because too much can, it can accumulate in your tummy. It won't start growing or anything like that. You won't turn into Groot. <laughs> but um, yeah, they're, they're not great. But if you eat the old one accidentally, don't worry. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you'll, okay. you'll get rid of that later. <laughs> so yeah, either unintentionally or intentionally, we plant seeds. So, can anyone think of the largest and smallest seeds you have ever seen? I'm going to tell you the biggest in the world and the smallest you'll find, but have a little think. What do you think is the largest one you've seen and the smallest okay. thing you've seen? Somebody says a mango. Mm, that's, that's, that's a big seed. Good. Yeah. Mango's quite big, isn't it? I don't think that's the biggest yet, is it? No. It's, Anybody it's think of apple? Avocado, avocado is a big seed as well, I wonder. Very big. Smaller seed. Anybody said the smallest seed that they've seen perhaps? Chia seeds, mustard seeds. Yeah, chia seeds are actually very small, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, sesame seeds, somebody said. Um, they is tiny. They tiny. Coconut, somebody said. Uh, big one. That is a big uh, one. Peach. Yes, peach has big seeds, but it's not the biggest yet, isn't it? No. Yes. Shall we right, say rice is seed? Uh, Jenny, somebody says, well, yeah, yeah. You yeah, because if you plant it, it will grow. Yeah. Strawberry. Yeah. Yes, strawberry's got little seeds, isn't strawberry's it? Strawberry's got very, so I was thinking along those lines of like berries, raspberries and strawberries mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. And support. <laughs> Banana seeds. Yeah, most people don't notice the seeds in them, but they do have seeds in them. Mm. Right, yeah, let's have oh, a look. Oh. This is going to be the, the biggest Wow, seed. look at that. I don't suppose any of you have been to the Seychelles and seen them. I think you're very lucky if you have, or if you're even living there. Very beautiful place. But this is called a double coconut. So someone said coconut, so you can basically yeah. there. This is a double coconut or coco de mer from the Seychelles Islands. Wow, look how big it is. Yes. Absolutely massive. huge. I've never seen a seed anywhere near that big, I don't think. 
And then mm -hmm. the smallest one, apparently, is an orchid seed. I had oh, to look wow. into this because there is lots of little seeds and you guys named a lot. But apparently the smallest one is from an orchid and they are absolutely tiny. So I bet there's some out there that are even smaller that people haven't even yeah. noticed. <laughs> but yeah, we'll go with orchid seed for the smallest one. Okay. Awesome. Now, requirement six means you have to taste a variety of edible seeds um but to do this please ask your parents if you're allergic to anything and also ask them if there is any seeds in the house do you and maybe i'll just give you a minute or two do you want to go and ask your parents if you have any seeds and then let us know if you have any yeah, yeah. do you guys right, want to guys, do give you a minute just to go see check or go around quickly one minute and see what seeds you can get that's edible okay Edible seeds, ready, go. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, you gotta guys got to think out the box. You might have some seeds that you don't even realize. Like yeah. we said, strawberries, they've got little Edible seeds. Ones. And Did bananas, they've all got seeds. Oh, somebody said, I've finished all my edible ones. So which are those? Uh, <laughs> which are those that you've eaten? Pumpkin seeds, sesame, chia, lentils, flax, yeah, yes. Awesome. Good. Those are seeds you can eat. Yes. Remember that nuts are also seeds. Yes. So if you've and got of course, that's the ones. That's the ones we must watch out for, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Some people definitely. have allergies, and if you've got an allergy, before you eat any seed, first get permission from moms and dads. Right. See if it's okay for you to eat it. Don't just put anything in your mouth that you think it's edible. Good. Almond, cashew, chia, peanuts, pumpkin seeds, pistachio, someone said, walnuts, sunflower seeds, yes, all there. Mm. Oh, what is your favorite edible seed, Jenny? Oh, I'm quite a fan of pistachio nuts. Oh, wow, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, right. Guys, maybe you can put it in your chat. What is, what is your favorite, your favorite edible seed? What is your favorite pasta? Oh, I love peanuts. Ah. Mm. Like the Brazil nuts is my favorite too. Yes, corn nuts. Is that your favorite? Some people say corn nuts are their favorite. Almonds, popcorn, cashews. Mm. Lovely. Yep. Okay. Pistachio. Somebody says also pistachio. You've got someone who's joined you the pistachio. <laughs> yeah, cashews. Mm. Oh, too many to think of. Okay. Make, I'm getting hungry again. <laughs> oh dear. Do you think everyone's back? Have you all asked? Yeah, yeah. Parents? Everybody should be back. Yep. Yeah? Okay. Yep, yep. So you can think about that in the next week as well. Maybe there's a neat nut or seed that you want to try. Maybe you can ask your parents mm -hmm. nicely if you want to put it on their shopping list. And then you can have a go at trying them. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yeah. Because I, I didn't used to eat sunflower seeds until my friends were like, do you want some? And I tried them and they're quite nice. They take a mm -hmm. while to get used to opening because you don't just eat the black and white shell. You have to open it up and go for the middle bit. But um, <laughs> so yeah, they're a bit fiddly, but I quite like them as well. Okay, and my granddad used to have pumpkin seeds as among other seeds mm. on his breakfast. So yeah, seeds and nuts go with any meal, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Okay, so a task for you as well afterwards is to collect and identify, identify at least two different seeds of each of these following categories. Now, it might sound a bit difficult to start with, but once you think about it, then you do, you, you are surrounded by these seeds, I think. So that it might be a daunting task, but it's, it's okay. Because tree nuts, we're in the fantastic time of year where tree nuts, they're starting to form on the trees and starting to fall. So here I've got a picture of the beech nut. So you might find these in a local park or in your garden if you're lucky enough to have a lovely garden. 
Um, also this time of year, conkers will start coming up. We'll start coming up. We'll start falling. <laughs> so you might be familiar with conkers from playing conkers where you have to hit each other. But um and maple seeds. Now these are little I used to call them helicopters because you can throw them up and the two little propellers go round and round and round. Mm -hmm. So you might be familiar with these seeds already and know exactly where to find them. And pine seeds. Now, I bet you didn't know that, that there's actually little nuts and seeds inside these pine cones. Because I don't think I've actually opened up a pine cone to find out. <laughs> so it's only recently I thought, oh, yeah, so they must be there. So pine nuts are from pine cones. There you go. So that's another tree seed. And I'm sure you'll be able to find lots around this time of year, especially as we go into autumn it feels like autumn already <laughs> in here, down here anyway now fruit seeds i bet you guys have seen these these um fruits before i've got a kiwi and we talked about an apple and an orange seed so you guys can probably find these in your houses already so any other fruits you guys can think about with seeds in that you might have around your house we've had banana and we've had Berries. Has anyone got any berries around their house? I bet some people like cherries as well. They've got a nice size. Like watermelon. Seat. Ooh, watermelon. Ooh. Mm. That's one of Pastor Clifford's okay. favourites. <laughs> Sugar apple. That's papaya. Some people have guava. Guava? Ooh. I haven't seen any guavas yet in, in, in this country, but I know guava. Mm. Okay. Yes. So we we are a bit lacking in our variety of fresh fruits in the UK, unfortunately, because we don't have the sunshine to grow many of them. <laughs> but we do import some of these exotic fruits that we call them. But no doubt some people on Zoom and on Facebook have them in their back garden, which we can be very envious of. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got another another um, sheet here. Someone said about avocado. So we've got an avocado, the green one in the corner there. And you see the size of the seed in that one. Yeah. And raspberry seeds are really little. And I've got a lychee on there. And I don't know if you like lychees. I don't, but my sister really likes them. So we are, we are very different in that sense. <laughs> the next part is vegetable seeds. I bet you guys don't even think about a vegetable in a courgette <laughs> or um, courgette or zucchini is the other word or um, aubergine or eggplant depending on where you're from. Um, yeah. And Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are the best seed, the <laughs> best you can eat. Brussels sprouts, okay. <laughs> there you go. And we've even got a picture of peppers there at the bottom. Now you probably your parents might already prepare it for you when you, you see it without the seeds, but in the middle, there's loads and loads of seeds. So you can make lots and lots of plants from that. And yeah, then we can get on to grains. So I've got sunflower seeds there in the corner. Now they're de-shelled ones, so you can't see the, the stripes on them. And there's lots of grains and things. And this covers stuff like someone said, um, someone mentioned one earlier. Mm. They're like chai seeds and things like yeah. that would fall into this one um and you could probably collect these from your garden as well so you might have little tufts of garden of grass that hasn't been cut in a little while or you might have a little wild flower meadow if you um are helping the bees and butterflies and stuff so that will likely have some long grass but even your normal grass will seed if it's left to grow a little longer. So you might have little patches like that in your garden. I know I've got mm. a few like that. <laughs> the little scruffy bits are the bits where you find, um, find your grass seeds. Okay. So I've got a picture there of bird seed. This is just mm. your average bird seed that I've bought for the feeder. 
and you can see that it's got sunflower seeds and lots of millet in there and lots of wheat seeds so there you go that's got a variety of seeds and if you do get that if you do pick up a little bag of, of um, bird seed you can use the rest for the for the last requirement of making a craft out of them but we'll come to that in a second so the last one the last category is nuts and you guys have already mm -hmm. said that you have some at home and that you like pistachio nuts and that pasta likes peanuts and about lots of people eat, either like peanuts or they're allergic to peanuts it's one of those things unfortunately um but yeah we've also got cashews brazil nuts almonds pecans macadamias and there's a lot more <laughs> There is a lot more. Is there any questions before we look at the last requirement, Pastor? No, I think we can we can keep going. Okay. And our time is coming, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we're going all right. Yeah. So the final one, unfortunately, I can't help you with because I can't hand you all a load of seeds. So this would be my favorite bit. So I really hope you guys enjoy doing this bit. Um, you have to make a collage or a picture or a craft out of seeds and this would be a ooh, fantastic ooh, opportunity that might be fun. yeah so send in pictures to pasta and then he'll be able to share them on facebook and then everyone can see your wonderful creations because i know i love it when wednesday comes around and i can see everything that people have sent in about the awards that they've done the sabbath before so it's really nice to see all your creations and see how creative you are. And I'm sure that you guys love making a mess as well. So make sure you put lots of paper down before you try gluing these little seeds down, okay? As your family, your parents won't be very happy with me. <laughs> but yeah, well, here's a big example. Great to see. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it'd be great to see uh, what the, oh, the, 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 the creativity for, the, for making the seed and craft seed collage. Yeah. If, you, if you recognize what do they see on that picture, Jenny? Yeah. What, what anybody recognize what they can see on that? A little animal, perhaps, which you can see there. Anybody? Anybody can recognize what you see in that picture? Let's see if we. Oh, oh, somebody says a hedgehog. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well done. Little hedgehog. Uh, see how creative you can have. Created yeah. with seeds, make a little hedgehog. What else can you see there, you think? I can only see a hedgehog. Okay. <laughs> I can see okay. oh, different kinds of beans. We have kidney beans and we've got yes. pumpkin seeds and chai seeds. So you guys might be able to name all the seeds as mm. well. But this is one example. I love the wall, little wall with the butter beans. Butter beans, that's it, yeah. I say, like I said, you yeah. can use, um, this is just a seed mix from a bird feeder. So that's an idea and see all the different color varieties even in just that. Um, and here's some mm -hmm. examples of maple seeds. Aren't they so pretty? So they've actually coloured in the um, oh. little helicopters oh, look at and that. made them into these fantastic um, insects. So this is mm -hmm. a really intricate idea. So perhaps you older adventurers want to give this one a go. And also it depends if you have a park nearby with a maple tree that's shedding at the moment. <laughs> so that would be very handy. Um, this is an example of pumpkin seeds. Wow, if you awesome. have a pumpkin, make sure the seeds are very, uh, make sure they've dried out for quite a while before you start. <laughs> make sure they're cleaned off so they're not slimy mm -hmm. anymore because the middle of a pumpkin can be quite slimy. So clean them off and lay them out so they can dry a bit and then you can paint them and make lots of pretty pictures with them. Okay. Beautiful. I have mm -hmm. one more slide of examples. There we go. So you can see we've got a sunflower and an owl. And my oh. favorite idea is, see there's a CD case in one corner. So that's actually able to keep it, like it's all glued down still. Don't forget to glue it down, it'll go everywhere. 
you could glue it in a CD case and then you can close the lid and then that will keep all the um, all the dust and stuff out of it and then your project is secure for a long time mm, so I really like that, that idea <laughs> Somebody yeah. says, lots of people say awesome yeah really awesome yes yes because I so bet you didn't lot, think about it like this before <laughs> lots of ideas there there we go um, so that's so it guys don't forget I'm gonna post the yep the email address again for Pastor Dan is posted there for your um, your uh, your cre your creations, you know, and your artistic creations of your speed collages. Well done. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So no doubt as well, if you're stuck for ideas, you can ask your parents, and they can just put seed crafts into Google or into Pinterest. But uh, here's a few, yeah ideas for you and the middle one is also stuck into some sort of play-doh or something so they're very secure in that so you can play around mm -hmm. with a few different ideas but yeah that's it for me i hope you've learned a little bit about seeds i think you guys yeah. knew a lot already I'm very impressed with the knowledge that you guys have um yeah mm -hmm. so i hope you enjoyed it 